Uh, ben, out on the ice with you guys this morning. Continues to be uh, pretty neat to have him around. Yeah, definitely. Uh, cool experience for, for him and, and for us to have him out on the ice to, today and uh, talk to him after a little bit. He had a lot of fun, so uh, he's, he's been a real inspiration for us. And, I mean, you can tell. I mean, we've been rallying around him and... Uh, you see him in warm up, see him after the game, uh, coming out for uh, uh, for the different periods. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a cool, cool experience for him and uh, at the same time for us as well. Uh, over the last month or so, your team uh, has shown this ability to kind of troubleshoot. When things come up in your game, you kind of address them and, and seem to be able to fix them. Have you noticed that as well? Rye and and like where do you think that's coming from? Yeah, well, I think we went through a lot of adversity in uh, in December and uh, for those sixteen that sixteen game stretch and uh, I think we learned a lot about uh, ourselves in that in that stretch and what we need to to be able to to do to get better and um, you, you can't consistently uh, have off nights and we went through a stretch where we were doing that and we we didn't find a way to get back to our game quick enough and uh, and I thought after that Columbus game it would have been easy to uh, have another one of those and uh, the way we bounced back and completely just uh, uh, played a complete different game I mean just back to what we're capable of doing was uh, it was a great sign for us I'm thinking about specific things like when the penalty kill dipped for a little while there you guys got on it you fixed it and it's been really good since against Mini, the coach talked about net front and board play it's been really good since how do you guys what's the process of identifying those things and weeding them out yeah well we talk about it in the room uh, coaches talk to us about it too and uh, show video but I think just uh, we, we trust our structure um, in all those situations that uh, when we struggle, I mean, you're going to struggle in certain aspects of your game throughout a season. It's the way it goes. And uh, you have to find a way to, to just get back to your structure and trust it. And I think that's the, the biggest thing right now is, uh, is that trust factor um, in our abilities, but also in the structure that we have in every aspect. So uh, it's, it's a lot easier to have an off night in a certain area than be able to fall back on that. Ryan, I guess just a thought. You guys have clinched. You got second place. What are you looking for from these last two games? There's not a lot of – hasn't often been around here where you have kind of meaningful game, meaningless games at the end of the season. But what, what are you guys looking forward to do in these last two games before the playoffs start? Well, I mean, definitely keep building our game. Uh, there's, there's obviously things that uh, you always want to keep improving, and, uh, and we want these last two games. I mean, we, we still want to keep pushing and uh, – building our game individually as a team and uh, and even ramp up the the intensity a little bit because you know uh, whether it's Monday or Tuesday it's going to be uh, uh, I mean there's there's you got to be 100 percent in you got to be uh, full bore by then so I mean we want to be able to ramp up the intensity even in these last two games and, uh, and keep working on, it, on what we need to work on. What do you remember about 217, the last time you got to play in front of fans and playoff atmosphere? Remember this, you know, being in this room with the roof almost caving in and the fans outside? I know it's been kind of weird the last couple of years with no fans, but what do you remember about that and what are you looking forward to that? I, I mean, just the atmosphere in the building is, was, uh, I mean, it was incredible and uh, yeah, we're, we're excited to have them back for sure. Like you said, the last two years have kind of been weird that way, so... Uh, definitely excited to, to get that buzz back in the building, but also just around the around this, uh, the arena and um, go to the grocery store and just that buzz around the city is uh, you can feel it. So it's it's already starting, and uh, we want to get some energy from them and uh, give them, give them something to be uh, to be happy and energetic about. And last one for me, just starting at home is that a big deal for you guys to getting this thing off here at home? Yeah, I mean, it's obviously something that we've worked for all year and uh, we've done a good job in the past month or so of, uh, of establishing uh, this building as being hard to come in and play against us here. So uh, it's definitely, I, I feel like you always kind of want to start at home and uh, get that energy from your fans, from your building. And uh, the way that we've been playing at home lately is, uh, is a good sign, but definitely uh, uh, got to keep pushing. Hey, Ryan, uh, with your position being solidified in the playoffs, is your preference to continue to play the same role, same minutes in these last two games, or how much does, you know, making sure that you're rested for the first game of the playoffs come into, you know, account right now? I mean, I would like to, I, I like to just kind of keep on the same page here and uh, keep building, like I said before, and um, 
we have we'll have a couple days at least uh, between um, Friday and uh, whenever it does start. So you'll be able to get a day of rest and then kind of have a good practice day. And um, personally, I kind of like that it's not a full week of just waiting around. I like that it's, uh, you, you kind of get into it. You have a few days to. Uh, to get your body in order and your mind in order, but then uh, you, you get going right away again. So um, I, I don't know about the other guys. Some guys might uh, um, want a little more rest, but um, I think for me personally, I, I like to just kind of keep the same role, keep uh, keep the way it's been going. Are you getting a, a jump on the playoff stash? <laughs> no, this will be <laughs> this will be coming off <laughs> before before Monday. <laughs> um, uh, Ryan, is this team you're going into the playoffs this year better you th than the 17 team, you think? Yeah. How is it different, maybe? Yeah, it's obviously it's hard to compare two different teams, two different years, but um, I think that year we were a bigger, uh, we were a physical team. I mean, we definitely uh, had some some big guys up front on, on defense, So, I, I, and I think this year we just... Uh, where we get teams is we come in waves and every <clears throat> every line has the same mentality. We're gonna we're gonna use our speed. We're gonna uh, make it tough to defend us down low and uh, off the rush. We're a dangerous team, but w what we've been building on these last couple months is uh, our end zone play. And every line has the same mentality. And um, it's hard to compare two teams that you've been on. I mean, that was obviously a good team, but uh, I think this is the deepest team I've ever been a part of. And. I'm excited to see what we, we can get done, and obviously nothing's going to come easy. Um, you have to prepare, and uh, I think our experiences in the past uh, will help us moving forward here. One last question. The difference between Todd McClellan running a bench and Jay Woodcroft running a bench, is there any difference, or is there a difference with the way Todd would message with the individual players and Jay messages? Well, I mean, uh, I, I would say they have similar... Um, kind of methods and, and uh, ideas uh, as far as coaching goes, but obviously two different people, so they have different uh, different ways of getting messages across to, to guys individually and, uh, and as a group, so uh, different mannerisms and stuff. So definitely uh, two different people behind the bench, but uh, um, I would say kind of similar uh, methods and ideas. Hey Ryan, what about you talk about your depth of your team? Um, there's been a lot of focus on how much better you guys have improved five on five defensively here, you know, backtracking more. But offensively, you've created way more as a group. What, what do you feel like your line, you know, there were shifts in Pittsburgh, all the lines, almost like on a power play, control the puck for a long time. What are you doing different offensively as groups five on five that's allowing more success? Uh, well, I mean, definitely. Um it kind of starts with, like you said, the backtracking um, for uh, us forwards, and that allows our D-men to stand up in the neutral zone and, and even at the blue line. We always want to have each other's back, so we don't want to give up those three-on-twos, the odd man rushes, and uh, that starts with the forwards being in good position, allowing the D-men to, to be able to step up and keep pucks alive, and uh, that goes a long ways as a forward. I mean, you want those, you want the D to, to be able to step up and be right on top of the winger so they don't get any free outs and uh, they keep pucks alive so you can keep playing down low. And um, that's something that definitely we've, uh, five on five, we've improved in the past couple months. And uh, we still want to keep building on that. But um, I think it's just five guys with the same idea uh, working together out there. And, um, and something that we've definitely gotten better too is just putting pucks on net and going to get the rebounds. You've had uh, a few coaches here. Um, you're going in the playoffs with a guy who's, you know, he's been around a long time, but he's a fresh new NHL head coach, and he's taken this team in the playoffs after a few pretty successful months. What, you know, looking back over all the personalities and all the methodologies and stuff you've seen here, what do you, what stands out with Jay? What do you, um, different? Well, I mean, his, his energy level is high always, which I think you, you feed off as a player, you feed off that. So I think that's definitely a positive thing. And um, I mean, the way that he, he hammers on the details of every aspect of the game, you, you know exactly what's expected of you. Um, like I, I was kind of saying before, if you struggle uh, in one aspect of the game, you can fall back on the structure because we know exactly what we need to do to have success. So that's something that he, he brought here. and. Um, Obviously, that's going to go a long way uh, when it comes to playoff time. You want to be able to fall back if 
you go through a rough game or a rough even couple games or a couple, couple uh, periods, you want to be able to fall back on that structure and have trust in that. I would think every coach wanted structure, though. I would think every coach wants, you know, to be positive. Uh, is this maybe an intersection of a group of players that are that are sort of ready? Like it seems to me that that maybe this group is smarter and more mature and able to execute Jay's uh, plan maybe more than previous coaches. Is that fair? Well, I mean, we've had success since he's come uh, for sure, but I mean, it kind of starts right now or uh, on Monday, uh, Tuesday, whenever we were going to start. It's. Uh, uh, I mean, we just have to go go and do it. I mean, there's uh, um, there's nothing easy in this league, and I, I've learned that over my 10, 11 years in this league now. And uh, you have to just be able to do it. So I mean, we can talk about it and uh, uh, over and over again. But I mean, the fact is, we got to be able to go do it and uh, prove that we can do it when it comes to, uh, when it comes time. Sorry, Ryan. Just one more for me. Just I want to ask you. Now that you know you're playing the Kings, I guess, and you got a few days to prepare for them, I guess, what, what kind of challenges are they going to bring? Well, uh, yeah, I mean, we've, we've got to see them a few times this year. We know uh, the way that Todd uh, coaches, and um, it's, it's going to be uh, tight checking. We know that. I mean, they, they don't want to give up anything off the rush, and uh, I think that's something that uh, when we played in Winnipeg last year, that was kind of their mentality in the, in the first round as well. They don't want to give up much off the rush, and... I think we've grown as a team and, uh, and learned from that and uh, have found ways to, to get around that a little bit better this year. And uh, Obviously, it's going, to be, it's going to be a tough series. It's going to be a tight-checking series, but uh, we've got to find a way to, to get that extra one or just uh, push that a little bit, uh, a little bit harder. Uh, 